Hey oh everybody, Haku here with my July update and oh oh man, the months are flying. I feel like I, I I struggle so much with the first week of the month where like a ton of stuff is coming out and I'm trying to cover all this stuff. And then by the time I finally get back on schedule, time for the first week of the next month, it just hits me over again. Um, but yeah, I actually uh, I tweeted out and threw it in the Discord as well, my plans for this weekend and stuff in this first week, since of course the first week is going to be busy. I didn't actually write them down, but I can probably give them off the top of my head. Today is Saturday and it's when I'm hoping that this video is going to be up. I'm going to be trying to get this up and my Demi Chan with Dottie Tai review. Before I move into my schedule, before I move into talking about last month and the coming month, let me just run over what's going to be coming up this week for you. Um, just so you know. So yeah, that would be today, Saturday, hopefully. Then tomorrow, Sunday, I'm, um, hoping, I was hoping for the Magical Girl Raising Project read-through, but I don't think I'm going to be able to record that today. I'll have to record it tomorrow, in which case it'll be up Monday. And, um, so that leaves tomorrow is just going to be the One Piece anime review. Probably, there's always a slight chance I could get up the Magical Girl Raising Project review, but I doubt it. Um... So yeah, Monday, that'll mean Magical Girl Raising Project read-through, and um, a special Tower of God video, because Tower of God's going to be on a week hiatus, so I'm going to do a special video there. Don't, uh, I don't really want to say what it is ahead of time, I'm going to just let it be a surprise or something. Uh, then Tuesday, I guess, I was planning to try to finally get the hockey and a up, and that's a big point I wanted to talk about too before I continue, is I feel really, uh, really kind of crappy and bummed about um, not being caught up with comments. I'm really, really sorry about not being caught up. I'm still trying to answer all of them. Um, and I will try to answer all of them. I will try to get the Q&A up as best I can. Even if it's a shorter one, I don't put as much in it just so I can get it done and get back into the flow of things to do it every single week. Um, maybe just doing one short one before going back into how they're normally done could maybe help me out. Just get me back into the flow of things because I want to do them every week. They're my favorite thing to do on the channel. Um, so I'm really bummed out that I haven't been able to do one in like nearly two weeks, I guess. Um, that's really been bothering me. Uh, I just, I've been working so hard on getting all these other videos up every single day that I haven't even had time to work on it. Um, I have had I've taken a little bit of time before I got so far behind to work on the um, Manmusu uh, Top Waifu video that's been months and months behind. Um, but I think it's actually maybe going to be up within the next few weeks. It's closing in on being done, hopefully. Um, so yeah, moving along this Wednesday, I plan to have my live reaction to the new Walking Dead um, comics issue and I may also do my review the same day I do my reaction but if I don't do it that day it'll be up Thursday along with my One Piece uh, manga live reaction and my Boku no Hero Academia live reaction and review. Now Friday I was going to do my One Piece review and then my um uh and then also my what any kind of video that I was behind on and if I did all that then I would be caught up, we'd be good to go back into the normal schedule of things. But I'm thinking as well, uh, thinking because I just noticed that my um, One Piece manga review from this week had less than 10 views, which uh, is, it's very low. Like I've always said, it's not about the views, but I'm thinking that, at least for me, but I'm thinking that maybe that's just because like people don't really want to wait a day for the review and they're like, eh, who cares after a day? So if you guys want me to start doing, actually, just tell me if you want me to start doing like I'm doing with Boku no Hero Academia and just putting the, just doing my reaction and then going back through and discussing it there all in one video. Because I could do that and then it would be just the live reaction and review in one video up on Thursday um, and there wouldn't be a second review. Uh, but I think maybe if nobody feels like watching the review anyway, or if they want to watch the review but they don't feel like waiting the extra day, if you just want me to do them both together on Thursday in one video, then uh, I could start doing it like that because it's actually working quite well for Boku no Hero Academia, so I think I could maybe do it for One Piece um, as long as it's not like a huge chapter that I would really need to think about. So uh, yeah, that's always, always a possibility. Tell me what you think there. Because uh, I just, 
I've thought it on and off at different points, but uh, today I've really been thinking that, seeing it how oddly low the views were on that, that I was like, you know, maybe I should just combine them into one video. But either way, um, time to get into my actual notes I have. Um, so uh, basically, in the comments here, and in every hot q and I'll leave a link to the Discord. I've been there a lot talking, so if you ever need me for anything, I would be there. If you just want to talk, I'd be there. I'll leave a link down in the comments, and uh, it's going to be a day link, but if you want a link at any time, just ask in the comments and I'll get you one, or ask on Twitter and I'll get you one. Um, so yeah, either way. Uh, let's see, I had notes about the first week of the month being really hectic and just a pain in my ass. Um, about being bummed out about being behind on comments, I already talked about all this. Um, and then, yes, summer anime is starting and spring is ending. I watched like 16 shows for the spring and uh, there are a few I'm not quite finished with but I'm still planning to watch and finish up. Uh, and the only four I think continuing on into summer are well, first up, Sakura Quest, which I haven't started yet, but I'm planning to watch, and it's carrying on into summer. And the three that I'm currently watching, Virgin Soul, which, oh man, it's such a good show. Virgin Soul is so good. But who Hero Academia, also incredible, incredible show. And Recreator is also a really incredible show. Uh, but I actually talked it over with people in Discord, and of course, taking into account your um, comments that you left on the last monthly update, and I've actually, instead of last monthly update, I asked you what you wanted to see. Now I've got a list of 20 that I'm watching. Of these 20, there's one that I'm sure I'll review week to week. Any of the rest, it depends. If I really, really like them, I might jump into uh, reviewing them week to week. I almost feel like maybe reviewing uh, Virgin Soul or Recreators, even though I didn't review the first half of the season, I almost feel like jumping in with those. Um, it would feel... It wouldn't feel right just starting in the middle of the season, but I almost wouldn't mind doing that just because um, I'm really enjoying them. And it seems a lot of you, it seems like we're talking, at least we're talking about recreators a lot in Discord and in the comments and stuff. Uh, we haven't really been talking about Virgin Soul, but man, I could not urge people more to watch it. It's so good. But either way, I got sidetracked. Here's my, I'll give you my list of the 20 that I'm watching, the 20 new ones, not including those continuing ones, and of course the uh, obvious One Piece that I'm always watching. Uh, so yeah, here we go. We got Action Heroine Cheer Fruits, or Action Heroine might be a better pronunciation, <laughs> Cheer Fruits. Um, Battle Girl High School Battle Girl Project. Centaur no Nayami, which is the one new one that I'm sure I'll review week to week. Uh, it starts next, uh, next Sunday, I believe, is when it starts, so that's when I'll start reviewing it. Um, Cleon no Akari, uh, Hajimete no Gal, Hina Logi from Luck and Logic, and Hina Logi, or Logi, I guess. Hina Logi is, um, it already has two episodes out. It started last weekend, so, um, I've watched the first of the two episodes out already. It seems pretty good. Um, I'm not going to review it, I don't believe, but it seems pretty fun, and I'm going to be watching it. Um, Going to be watching Isekai Shokudo, Jikan no Shihaisha, Kakegurui, which I think was supposed to start today. I didn't see the episode up, but I think it was supposed to start today. I'll have to look for it. Um, Knights and Magic, Musashino, which is the second season to, I believe, Urawa no Usagi-chan, which I'll need to watch. I'll need to marathon it real quick before I start this. Um, Nanamaru Sambats, uh, Netsuzo Trap. New Game 2, I still need to watch the first season of New Game, I'll have to marathon that. Um, oh yeah, also, Hina Logi from Luck and Logic. Apparently Luck and Logic was its own anime last last winter, I think? Winter 2016, maybe? Um, or maybe it was spring 2016? But I didn't watch that. Apparently it's not a... It's not... This isn't a sequel to that, they're just both set in the same universe. So I'll have to go marathon that at some point, but I'm not really that worried about it, since it's not a direct... Uh, continuation or anything. Um, where was that? I said Nanamara Sambats, Netsuzo Trap, New Game 2, Princess Principle, which actually I'm really excited for, because um, I thought it looked like when um, the promotional artwork was out and the uh, description was out, I thought it sounded really good and I was like, okay, this will be pretty interesting. Uh, but then seeing the promotional videos, now I'm really excited for it, because it actually had 
the best promotional videos of any of the new ones starting up, in my opinion. Um, at least the promotional videos did the best job of getting me even more interested in the show. So uh, that could be another potential one to review week to week, because it looks like it'll be pretty good. Um, Sayuki Reload Blast, which I'm, I'm, uh, I, I think it's a Seijo, so, or a Jose, Jose. So I'm not sure about re um, watching it, but it does, um, it does look good, so I'm going to be watching it. Um, then Skirt no Naka Keremo no Deshita. That is another one that I'm like, I'm not sure about watching because it looks like, it, it looks kind of odd, but I'm going to go for it because it interests me. Um, the Reflection as well, I thought all the promotional artwork, I haven't seen any promotional videos, but the promotional artwork and the uh, description sounded really cool, so I'm uh, going to be definitely watching The Reflection. That could also be a potential one to review. Um, and then Vatican Kiseki Chos Chosakan? Yeah. And uh, those were the 19 originally, but then one of you in uh, Discord, I think your Discord name is HY, but I'm not sure who you are in the comments because you're, I don't think your um, YouTube username is the same, so sorry for that. But uh, they said, oh, you're not going to watch Made in Abyss, so I looked up a bunch of stuff for it and I liked it, so I'm like, Okay, I'll watch Made in Abyss as well. That'll round me out at 20. Uh, if there's any more you want me to watch, just tell me to watch them. I'll go for it. Um, or uh, beyond that, I guess, if um, you want me to review any of these in particular, you could tell me to, and I'd think about it. Or um, these are the ones I'm watching just to let you know, so if you want to discuss them in the comments, we can discuss them in the comments, and I can actually discuss them in the hot Q&A as well. Um, so yeah, it depends if you guys are interested in any of these or you're going to be watching along with any of them. And of course, we can always talk about it in Discord as well. Um, so yeah, that would be it for the anime I'm watching. And then real quick before I end this, I'm going to talk about the schedule like I do every month. Now, the schedule is, I mean, I guess kind of standard this month. Um, there are some things that are kind of maybe-ish changing. I don't know. But, <laughs> man, um... But for this one, the um, the normal stuff being like uh, 12 Beast is going to be the same, Walking Dead Comics is going to be the same, and um, uh, Monster Musume is going to be the same, in that I'm just going to review them and do the reaction to them whenever they come out, um, which of course is the first Wednesday of every month for the Walking Dead Comics. Uh, so that'll be the same as just whenever they come out, no real predicting it. Um, then Monday is going to be the Tower of God live reaction, Tuesday the Tower of God review, same as normal, and then sometimes Monday through Wednesday, I'm not sure where it's going to settle into. We'll see when the uh, season gets started and uh, how my uh, schedule starts playing out, what times I have during which days, but I'm thinking somewhere Monday to Wednesday is where the hot Q&A will end up, and I think it's where the Magical Girl Raising Project will end up. So sometime, those two will be sometime over the course of those three days, probably. Uh, they may end up some other day, some weeks, but that's probably where they're going. I don't know if I want to constrain myself to one specific day with the hot Q&A anymore, since it, it seems like that's a bit difficult, because it's just hard to find a day when I have the proper time for it, just because it takes so long. It takes a couple days' work a lot of the time. Um, so it's hard to pin that down to a single day every week. Uh, then Thursday would be the One Piece live reaction, possibly One Piece live reaction and review if you want me to do it like that, and the Boku no Hero Academia live reaction and review. Now, for Friday and potentially Saturday as well, I think I could maybe do it every Friday, and if I didn't have it done by Friday, I could do it Saturdays, but um, I'll, since I did watch 16 seasons for the spring, like I, or 16 shows for the spring, like I said, uh, I'd like to do some series reviews for some of them. I'd also still like to do a lot of special videos like that Manmusu Waifu video I talked about. Um, those will be on Fridays or Saturdays, somewhere around there. Um, and then the Boku no Hero Academia anime review will be on Saturday as normal when it comes out. Uh, Sunday will be the One Piece anime review. And the uh, Centaur... I think it'll be the Centaur no Naomi review. I think it comes out Sunday, but... Since it comes out Sunday in Japan, I'm not sure if where that will end up for me here in America. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure where that'll end up. But I'm shooting for if it ends up 
being posted on Sunday, then I'll do my review on Sunday. Uh, but we'll have to see how that goes. Like I said, the schedule's kind of like, since the season hasn't quite started yet, I don't really quite know where uh, time is going to fall and where I'm going to have to put everything. Uh, but that's just my general basic idea of where I think it'll go. So yeah, that's it. We talked about a lot here, the schedule, the anime I'm watching, and all that. Uh, like I said, Discord link will be down there if you want it. Um, and if you want one, that one's expired or whatever, just uh, just let me know and I'll definitely give you one anytime on Twitter or YouTube. Um, so yeah, I guess like if you didn't like the video, comment down there to uh, tell me what you thought of all this, any ideas you have, um, just, I don't know, any responses you have to anything I said here, I guess, um, or suggestions, anything like that. Uh, subscribe for all of this that I talked about and more, of course. Um, and follow on Twitter if you want. I can try to keep you updated there and stuff for the channel and talk to you there. That's it. Thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.